All right, today we're gonna learn about the top five things about the Baker's Museum. So I just got out of the museum. One of the cool things I noticed was the bookstore. They have um, they have a small traditional museum bookstore. It has a couple things in it, a couple pieces of jewelry. But then you go down the hall, there's actually a library. And you go back there and there's this magnificent collection of art books. So as an artist, it's just like a wet dream. You just go back in there and there's literally probably three, 400 artists, you know, and you just open any of those books and they're great art books. And they just have all the stuff to digest um, an artist or an art movement. And it might be that's a much better way to digest uh, art and understanding of art is via an art book because Instagram, you kind of see everything all at once. It's just a hodgepodge of everything. And you just get lost in the soup, so to say. While this, you can focus on a single movement, a single artist, and it really has a nice punch to it. And that collection is just amazing on the library itself. I like the architecture of the building. As you can see, it has this really nice curve curvature on the outside, but it's highly functional, mostly square room. So you can really display the art in the most optimal way. So I would, you know, really highlight the architecture is really nice. Doesn't distract from the art, but it is at the same time a work of art in itself from the outside. Okay, so one of the outstanding things of the museum was an artist called Helen Frankenthaler. It's an abstract artist. Um, it has a little late work, so it has maybe six, seven rooms of her really large um, abstract paintings made with kind of ink and a wash style and a little bit of splotch, but mostly a lot of this interesting sponge style she used with a mop. Um, some of the works I really liked, some of them I thought were that strong. For me personally, as an abstract painter, I was like, ah, eh, I would have picked different works. But, you know, you get her works, you get her works. Um, she does have a lot of talent, a lot of punch to this, a lot of these paintings. Some are like bright blue and then, you know, all reds and then black and white. So really kind of really nice contrast in a lot of her style. I think they did that really well. One of the other really great artists I think we hear was called Ron Huang. Um, this is a Korean artist and she went to New York from South Korea and then she got into kind of the, um, you know, traditional fabric industry of New York, where they have a lot of Asian immigrants work there, the sweatshops before they moved a lot of it to Asia, but they still have some of that there. And from there, she decided to do her artwork only in buttons. And so she has this huge installations of buttons only with light shows connected to buttons and really su quite surprising because I didn't think much of it when I first heard of it. But then when you see it, it's really, really impression impressionist in person. Um, some of the, it doesn't really photograph well, I would say, some art is like that. It looks better in person. So definitely come and see it. See uh, Ren Huang. Another really cool surprise was they had a Mexican artist. I don't have his name. I'll have to look it up. Um, but he had a really great surrealism work. And they had a little bit too of Magritte in there as well. So it's nice to see Magritte together with another fellow surrealist. And it's interesting to see the Mexican style. Because when you study art history, you really only learn about Magritte. Dali, kind of the really majors in Paris at the time, but this guy was a Mexican and they had fled the Spanish Civil War, being in Spain, and went to Mexico City. So you have this really nice foundation of um, that Mexican surrealist being influenced by this Spanish surrealist who probably lived in Paris as well. So it had a really nice flavor to it and a really great work. So that concludes my uh, take on the top five things at the Baker's Museum.